Okay, Aaron Parker, Parker's safes and vaults. We just got through with a American security vault door. We took it through here, uh, new home here. Barn Dominium, as a matter of fact, it's a beautiful place. Um, through here, this was vinyl flooring. And around this corner, and through this bedroom, through this bathroom, and into this closet. So this is textured black with black nickel hardware. This is on a block wall, which makes this um, installation a little a little troublesome there. But as far as um, uh, these doors are actually made to go on. Um, a framed wall, not a concrete wall. So what you have to do in order to affect this install here, um, you have to first remove the, and put the door, we put the door into place and then, and then take it off of the hinges. And there's some tricks to that though, because you, um, there's an Allen wrench here, three eighths inch. And so you can use a socket and a, um, you know, like an impact, a driver here. And then um, down here though, you pretty much need a, uh, like a ratchet and it's kind of tight in here. It's only about three inches or so right there. But then what we've, what we've had trouble with in the past is driving this hinge pin out. So there's, sorry, there we go. So we've got the hinge and we've got the, these are barrels here and there's a pin that's about that long and it has to be driven out. And you only have about a 3 16 hole. Let's see if this picks us up the other way. So that hole, about 3 16 of an inch, is also up here on the top, right? So we have to have something to drive that out with. And so this is what we came up with. It's fairly simple, but I just took a regular um, woodworker's clamp and then some of these little guys, you can see this one's all bent because they are hard to get out of there. Um, and so um, I just drilled a little hole in the top of that to receive the top of that, right? So this hinge pin will go in there. I say hinge pin, we're using a hinge pin to drive out a hinge pin, how about that? So um, anyway, but then what we can do is just hook this all up and I'm one-handed here, but you get the idea. So then this would be like that. And then we just put a, I just, uh, I took the old wooden handle off of this and just uh, fastened a nut on there. Uh, just pinned it all the way through and, and cleaned it up. So um, that's what we used to drive the hinge pin out from the top. And um, from the bottom, you can get a pretty good, um, you know, you can use a punch and a hammer, but you really got to be careful. It's real tight in here. So make sure that you uh, kind of protect the, the edging here or the edge of the door and drive that out. Okay, so once you've got that, once you've got that out, then you can use, you know, pry bars and rollers or slides or something like that to move the door out of the way. And we set it right over here, okay? Then, okay, then maybe I ought to pop one of these off. Let me see if I can just get rid of these. But these little, these are little um, cover plates here. And they go all, you know, they're all around the door here. There we go. So what we've done, we took, um, let me show you. Our, I don't know if I've still got everything out or not, but basically what we're going to do is fasten. Um, these are Titan HD. They're made by Simpson. They're, in, they're a quarter inch by three and a half. And they're a heavy duty uh, concrete anchor. They're, they're tempered steel. I mean, they're they're really tough. I tried to cut one once with a uh, sawzall and it just won't even touch it. So, so that's pretty cool. But what, what we have to do then is um, you've got to drill. So basically what's going on is this is the inner frame. Let's see here. That trim piece there is one unit. Okay, it's a big U-shaped thing. And you put it inside the room uh, before you put this outer piece on and that outer piece has the door attached okay so you put this in you put you put your inner piece in the room 
stand up your door, slide it into place. Then you're gonna mate up the this U-shaped panel. Okay, you're just gonna slide it and it slides, excuse me, it slides behind this piece. And I know it's really hard to see, everything's dark black, but this is one unit, okay? And this will have the door, this is the outside, and this is the inside, and this slides in behind this. Okay, so there's like a little gap along there, and that's that slides into that, and it slides all the way through. So then what you end up with is you have to drill out uh, the steel of this that's in front of this hole, okay? We would use larger anchors um, if we could, but because those, see these little buttons have to go back on here, so you can't make this any bigger. Well, you can't get much, uh, you can't get a socket any bigger than about a quarter inch uh, anchor. So uh, you drill through the steel, two pieces, uh, like a quarter inch or five sixteenths, probably work better, five sixteenths steel bit, and that'll go through this hole and through this, right? Then you're, then you're, touch you know you're close to the concrete so then you back off of that then you run your concrete um bit all the way in and clean up all that and then sometimes you know you have to, you have to do that a couple times make sure it's all clean then you can drive this in right we usually start up on the corners and um and work our way around but um then you can drive your concrete anchor all right so that's how we kind of get around the uh you know the american security um door because it, it is made more for wood. You, they they supply wood uh, lags and those are just kind of made to go right through these holes and they, those would work like a charm. They're also a quarter inch but they go right through there and into the into the framing. So if that's your application, if you're going into wood, you know that that's how you would do it. But m most folks that we run into, um, they want a you know a door like this. It's a half inch solid plate door with an inch and an eighth of concrete behind it they would want that door on a concrete room, right? All five sides concrete, floor, sides, ceiling, the whole bit, right? Because then you've got a vault room. But, um, so that's what we do to get around that. So pre-drill through your metal, that'll go through this piece, um, pre-drill into your concrete, run your leg, and then um, you, know, you can make some adjustments there, whatever you've got to do uh, to get the door sitting right. We use a, uh, like a six foot level, I don't know if you saw that before, but that really helps out. Uh, you know, trim carpenters would be using something like that. But a little four-foot level sometimes just doesn't do it. And you want to be plumbing, you know, uh, especially the hinge side. But, you know, you want to make sure that you're you're dead on there. So um, plumb it from, from both directions, right? And make sure everything's good before you tighten all those up. All right. Okay, so that's that. But we've got... Uh, I think that's basically what I wanted to run you through. I just wanted to kind of give you an idea of, of how to kind of overcome the uh, the wood um, applica or wood installation method that American Security kind of makes this door for and to go ahead and put it onto a concrete room. So that's it. And the door, you know, should, um, when you're done, just swing nice and easy. Bolt works, bolt works should go nice and easy. And... Um, if you're curious about this door, you can give me a call. I've got, I think I did some more videos on it, but uh, <clears throat> you know, from outside, uh, if you're ever, if you're ever stuck inside, I should say, but if it's, if somebody spins the dial, this is a mechanical lock. So right now, if somebody were to spin that dial outside, I'd be locked. But all you have to do is just pull this knob and then turn the handle at the same time, right? Uh, to get out. So really cool, uh, cool design, good door solid door i mean half inch plate door it's an impressive door uh, we do have some problems sometimes installing just because they're you got to take these uh in swing i forgot to mention that but the in swings have to come off the frame the out swing you don't have to take off the frame so a lot easier application with the out, the out swing but uh, for the in swing they're just a they're just hard to uh, you know you got to get it back on you're using little wedges and things underneath the door you have to have these barrels lined up right directly. You know, this one has to be right on top of the bottom one. And then you're going to try to drive that hinge uh, or that barrel, I'm sorry, the hinge pin back up through there. And then there's that Allen set screw with a ball on top of it. That's your ball bearing hinge. 
that all goes up in there and then you have to tighten that up and I'm and sometimes they just do not want to uh, they just don't want to play fair so um, it takes a while but uh, all in all great door and uh, appreciate you having a look if you have any questions there just leave them in the comment section and we will try to get back with you as soon as we can all right Aaron Parker Parker's safe and vaults